Burgenland. Uh, it's the most uh, eastern and um, uh, least populous um, region in Austria. It was also kind of a poor uh, country for a long time and this can also be seen uh, with the houses they have. These houses are also wooden houses. There are wooden walls which are plastered with clay to have kind of a, a insulation. And another special thing about the houses in Burgenland are the thatched roofs. That was a typical... Uh, uh, yeah, the roofs. <coughs> And we uh, have started doing uh, the dating and analysis of, of the tree rings uh, in this museum uh, about two years ago. Um, so what we are actually doing is we take samples of each building uh, with, a tr with a hollow drill and we get these um, so-called cores and the Dendrochronology uh, is a scientific method to date wooden objects. It depends on, on the width of a tree ring. So what we do is we measure the tree rings um, and compare the sequence with a known chronology. And if the sequence fits into the chronology, we know exactly when the tree started to grow uh, and when it was fallen or when it died. <coughs> So with this method we can say how old well the buildings are. Most houses when we get uh, towards, towards western regions are built um, of spruce, as a softwood, uh, spruce, pine, fir, large maybe, yeah. That's the main, main wood species in Austria. <laughs> and yes, here you can see um, parts where we have taken uh, the samples for dendrochronology. Um, after drilling the locks uh, we put these uh, fittings into them um, to avoid insects uh, getting into the wood. Pine tapping, uh, which was common in Austria, especially in more eastern parts of Austria, from one tree you can gain about uh, three to four kilograms of, of resin uh, per year and this profession has disappeared uh, nearly completely until now because of new uh, chemical processes. That's a charcoal kiln. Uh, it was used for charcoal production. So uh, the workers put up this kind of kiln um, and covered it with earth. Then they uh, put fire into it and it took about two to three weeks until the, the wood was burned and uh, charcoal was, was produced. We are now in Lumberjack or woodcutter's spot. These people used to live at the place. Uh, they worked of about one week and in summer they often spent the whole summer in the forest and lived in this kind of huts. Uh, it is built of bark, uh, a really simple, simple place to live. The woodcutters, they lived about uh, eight people in such a hut, eight to ten people. They had the beds on the side. Uh, they filled them with uh, brushwood and leaves and in the middle they had uh, this open fireplace and the workers spent up to a few months up here uh, separated from their uh, family and from their wife and children. Um, this is a so-called Venetian uh, gang mill. This type of sawmill was in the 18th century. It's when the wood came down from the lumberjacks, it was sawn in this kind of um, water-powered sawmills.
This is a so-called overshot water wheel, which means that the water drops on the wheel from above. And the water was carried to the wheel uh, through such uh, trenches and uh, there was always a possibility to stop the water uh, flowing on the water wheel uh, to stop the movement. This could be done, for example, uh, by moving the last part of the trench uh, of the side of the water wheel or close some kind of gate to stop the water flowing on the, on the wheel.